What's up, everyone? Good morning. Good morning. It's your boy Two Phones back again with another form to video. Um, this tutorial video is going to show you how to uh, optimize your Gmail account the best way possible uh, for offline access, getting all your emails uh, when you're away from internet or you on low data usage, things in that sort. So I'm gonna go ahead and get right to the business. So first off, you want to open up your Gmail application. Uh, I recommend if you use Gmail a lot, put it on your home screen. That's simple. Put it on your home screen. Go through your app drawer or whatever. Go find Gmail. Find a Gmail. Put it on your home screen. But see, it's already down there. So I'm just put it on your home screen. Now I'm gonna open up my Gmail. All right, and as you can see. These are all my emails. I'm getting, I'm getting a ton of emails. Get a ton of emails. I even get my text messages through email. For free. Anyways. So you want to go through the hamburger menu right over here. Not search, but the hamburger menu. All right. You can see all the, the tabs. You can go all the way down. You want to find the word settings. So this says Google Apps and stuff like that. But you want to find the word settings. You want to tap on that. Then you want to tap on your own email account. Okay. Now it says inbox. Inbox type unread first. Now this is up to you. This is your choice. You want to do default inbox, important first, unread, start first, priority inbox. That's up to you. I'd rather have unread first so I can see what emails I didn't read yet. Mm. Notifications. This is a very important one, ladies and gentlemen. I, I talk about I don't get my notifications. I don't get my notifications. Go through the settings. <laughs> I had to keep my language up. Go through the settings. Tap on notifications. Hit all or high priority only or none. That's how you get your notifications. Make sure you hit and tap it. Don't keep cancel, but tap it. The one you want, and you should get all your notifications. Now here it goes, inbox notifications. So this is a cool one too, because you won't want to know this one. So you want zinc messages. Last 90 days of messages will be download uh, when connected, meaning if you're on data or Wi-Fi, okay? But you have a choice. You get don't zinc inbox. You can zinc up to 90 days worth of e email or all. We're just gonna do all. Let me do all. I'm gonna do all. And then you got a uh, other notification tab. Label notifications. Notify for every message. Now, if you don't want your phone to go off for every email, of course, uncheck that. But if you're not gonna check your Gmail account anyway, or you're gonna check it, you stay in the emails, then you turn it on. Just saying. Make sure it's checked. Then go back. All right. Now, notification sounds. Not sure that even matters. Or you want a different notification. Then you go to your settings and your settings app and your smartphone. All right. Default reply. Nah. So I got Dean Tone. <laughs> All right, so the chat and room tabs. That's only if you're on Wi-Fi or you got unlimited data. It's not going to work on a talking text plan. Just saying. If you want all that clutter on your home screen or your Gmail account app, don't do it. Default reply action. But this is only going to work if you got internet access. So it's up to you. All right, you got all that. You got all that. Um, let me see what else you guys should know to help you guys out. Inbox tips, inbox tip settings. Unsubscribe tips. Say show occasional tips to unsubscribe from bulk senders. That's if you don't know how to maximize your, your, your inbox, how to maximize Gmail. That's up to you. All right. Okay. Now, this is another important one right here. Zinc Gmail for data usage. 
is for those on Wi-Fi or those on limited data or limited data or no data. I'll put it like that. This is for everybody. So you want to link your Gmail, make sure like, okay, you at work and you're using your Gmail at work. I mean, it depends. If you trust, you know, your jobs, computers, and you log into your account. That's that's if you're doing that. But if you got your tablet, your computer, your phone, you ain't got nothing to worry about. Just make sure that you want your information zinked, updated at all times. You got to have that blue check mark block. You got to have that blue box with the check mark in it. Okay, days to mail, days of mail to zinc. This is very important. So you can you can you can get as many days as you want. You can get a whole year. If you want to go a whole year, you can go a whole freaking year. That's up to you. And you just want like 30 days, you go all the way down to 30 days or 60 or 20. You don't want that many emails um stored. That's that's up to you. All right? This is how you you customize it, all right? Put it as many days as you want to. I got it for 90 days. Download attachments, auto download attachments to recent messages via Wi Fi. Yes, because you don't have data. So you want that. You want images. You want your attachments and your files. Now, here we go. Images. Always display external images. You can always display or you don't want to display. It's up to you, ladies and gentlemen. It's it's really up to you. So choose and pick. All right, and that's all your settings. That's all your settings for real. I just did a whole rundown of your Gmail settings. Okay, so let's just open up one. All right, there. I got a Wish account. I rarely use it. Now. I don't even think I used it, but so I can see all the prices, the images, everything. Telling me to get it from Apple Store, Google Store, showing me where to follow, follow Wish. You can refer friends, earn up to 100 bucks. There you go. That's another way to make free money. Another way to make free money. Referral codes, refer people. That's another way to make money. I, I did that. I did that for a reason. People say they, they don't know how to make money. I did that for a reason. Read. Anyways, all right, let's go back. Let's get out of here. Since I'm on Wi-Fi, let's turn off the Wi-Fi. Let's see what happens. Shout out to shout out to Bob Best for sending me Dean Tone. Anyway, um, so I got that 5G signal for free. <laughs> All right, so you off Wi-Fi, no Wi-Fi connection. I'm gonna show you again. It's grayed out. I am not on Wi-Fi. Also, it says off. Right here, it says off. Okay. I got some new stuff in tabs, advanced. Okay, so turn on Wi-Fi automatically. Let's turn that off for right now. Show network quality info. All that stuff like that. Okay. whoop de doo Switch to mobile data. Yeah, it says use on mobile data whenever your Wi-Fi internet connection is slow or unusable. That's true. All right. But no Wi-Fi, as you can see. Let's open up the Gmail app again. Okay. Here we are. Now remember, my Gmail account is zinked. All right. So here we go. Look at there. I can see the full um, offer details, sales on Macy's.com via my Gmail account. I can see what they, they trying to sell and um, talking about Macy's with rewards and all that, and you can follow them on all these social media platforms, you know. So, and those little add ons at the bottom, I'm going to talk to you guys about that how to utilize all those apps and services right from your Gmail account. So, like Trello, we, we're gonna talk about that in a later video, but um, that's for productivity people. So here we go. Yeah. And um, I'm also a, a medium uh, member. Well, I'm a reader. So I'm reading. I'm reading. See what's all this about. Let's see if I can actually tap on one of these accounts. Let's see. 
Okay, it's going to ask me to go through a browser to the Medium app. That's cool. Okay, it says NPR News. Okay. The Delhi feed today showing you everything going on. Okay. Cool. All right. We got Facebook stuff going on. Okay. Fox News alert. Okay. Got a Lowe's. All right. Okay. Yep. Yep. So you can read your Gmail offline, people. Once you get, you gotta go through the sentence. <laughs> you just gotta go through the sentence, man. Play with your sentence. Now you can archive it, delete it, for message. You wanna send it to somebody. Now this won't work offline. You need internet access to do all that. You can snooze. Change labels, mark important, unsubscribe. You can mute this email. Uh, revert auto sizing, report as a spam, add to task. You can add to task. Oh, I don't have that app. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, yeah, that's another cool feature. Add to task if that's important. Print. Now you can you can use that, but you can download it. Let's see. Oh, save as a PDF. You can save it as a PDF for offline. For free. <laughs> Mama's cooking. <laughs> so you can you can get PDFs offline without internet. <laughs> for free. All right, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just having fun with y'all, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, it's a new one. Oh, snap. Oh, shit. <laughs> um, next door. This is also a cool app I use. Um, yeah. So, yeah. Next door is a cool app. All right. Yeah, that's pretty much it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Me? Can you even use this offline? No, you can't. Okay, cryo cooler, whatever that is. All right. <laughs> okay. I'm going to delete that one. All right. Here we go. Like I said, if you don't have images set, it will not read it. I was just letting you know. Just letting you know. <laughs> oh, TikTok. What the heck you want, TikTok? TikTok. Nine new videos. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Watch more videos on TikTok. Hey. All right. So there you have it. That's how you use Gmail online and offline. Uh, once again. You got to let your uh, internet zinc it up. Let's turn on the Wi-Fi again. Mm -hmm. You got to let your internet zinc it up and stuff like that. And uh, once the Wi-Fi kick back in, uh, Santana, you been... Dude. What the hell? Santana emails. <laughs> ah. Let's go to spam. <laughs> Let's see what the spam about. Empty spam not yes, please. <laughs> Damn. Okay. Spam is empty. <laughs> Let's go to all mail. There we go. Now I'll be back at it. Now I'll be back at it. All right. So, <laughs> yeah. I mean, it is what it is. It's up to you. How you use Gmail. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Was I very helpful? 
and useful with this tutorial. Um, I'm going to show you guys cool apps to help you with your productivity with the Gmail. All right. Later.